When creating the Blend AI trailer, I needed to place 3D icons on squares to represent each feature. Instead of manually converting, cleaning, positioning, scaling and rotating each icon multiple times, I used Blend AI script features to automate this process. So let me show you how I did that. Navigate to the scripting workspace. In the top right corner you can find a Blend AI menu. Other workspaces have one too, so keep an eye out for the white purple sparkles icon. Here you can find all scripting features. So let's start with Generate Script. This feature allows you to create a script by describing what it should do in natural language. You can do that in the prompt field. And that's the most crucial part. Be specific and clear. For example, instead of saying rotate the object by 90 degrees, try rotate the active object by 90 degrees around the x-axis. The better you describe the behavior, the better the generated script will match your needs. So let's create the prompt together to automate the task I needed for the trailer. Start by thinking about what exactly should be the outcome and what steps are needed to get there. In our case, we need the icon to be positioned precisely at the center of the square as a clean, optimized mesh. We can generate a script doing this tedious task for us by following these steps. First think about in which space you want to use the script. Because the generated script will be based on this context. For example, you can also automate a task in the node editor if you want. But in our case, we want to use it in the 3D viewport. Next, ask yourself what things should be modified or created. If you want to modify something, on what should the actions be executed? What objects, what nodes and so on. If you want to create something, what should be created? At which position, which scale, how many of them and so on. In our case, we want to execute the following actions on the active object. And finally, give instructions. And now consider what you would need to do if you were performing these actions manually. Therefore, you can use a numbered list or a comma separated one. In our case, there are seven steps. First, set the origin to geometry. Second, move the object to the 3D cursor. The third step is, rotate it by 90 degrees around the X axis. The next one is, scale it by 700. The fifth one, convert it to a mesh. And finally, add a solidify modifier. And here we want to specify some settings and every time you want to give some additional info to a step, just put another list into brackets after it. We want to set the offset to 1.0, the thickness to 0.0001 and it shouldn't be applied. Just like that. That's it for the prompt, but there's another setting under advanced you can choose the generation quality. It's high by default, but you can also choose balanced. Then it will only cost two credits and GPT-40 mini will be used. But I recommend going with high for more complex tasks and more reliable results. Then it will cost 10 credits and GPT-40 will be used. And with the little button next to it, you can also save your setting for the future. But now let's generate the script. And here it is, our script. And even the file name got generated for us. So, but now let's put it to the test. And you can do that by using the built-in Blender little play button to execute it. But this won't allow you to execute it in a space you want. Therefore, use the script test operator that is located in the Blend AI menu. And here you can choose the space where you want to execute the script. But whatever space you choose, please keep in mind to have it open in the script workspace. For example, if you choose the UV editor and you created a script for the UV editor, 
then open the UV editor in one of the areas before testing the script. Then you can choose UV and execute it. But in our case, we want to execute it in the 3D viewport. Okay, so now let's test it. Yay, it's working! Guys, this saved me so much time in creating the trailer. It's a game changer. And there's even another advantage of using the script test feature, but later more on that. But we are not finished yet. There are some things I want to change. For example, I want to remove the material of the icon and replace it with a white one. And I want to make the icon child of the square object so that we can move it around easier. So let's undo everything and let's use the edit script feature which can do this for us. It has also a prompt field where you can simply write what you want to add or change in your script. In our case we want to remove all materials, add a white material and now Adding details again should be principal BSDF, the name of the material should be icon and it should only be created if it not already exists. Then make it child of the other selected object and while doing this keep the transform. That's it and there's another setting, new file. You can take that if you want to generate the new script in a new file. If you leave it unchecked, then your current script will be overridden with the new version. In our case, I use the new file, just if I want to go back later. Here we go, it got created successfully. And as you can see, we now have two scripts, the initial one and the new edited one. Okay, let's test it. Therefore, we have to select now both objects and let's use the test script feature again. And we have an error here. So seems like Blend AI made a mistake. You can see the error message here and you can also copy it to look it up or something. But what we're gonna do is let Blend AI try to fix the error. When you choose this, the fix script feature will be opened with the error message pre-filled. You can also give additional info like what it was doing when the error occurred or which object were, objects were selected or anything that could help Blend AI to fix the issue. But this is fully optional. And by the way, the costs for the fix script and also the edit script feature are based on the script size. So in our case, it's for this script nine credits. Okay, let's try and fix the script. Okay, so let's test again with test script and looks like it's working. Yeah, the child is here and the material is there. Perfect, very nice. So we now want to convert our script to our very own feature that we can use right out of the context menu like it was built into Blender. Therefore, you can use the Save Script Preset feature. But before we do that, let's look at the sidebar and what is going on there the whole time. There's some interesting stuff. For example, when we use the Fix Script or Edit Script features, you can see which changes were made with red, the lines deleted, and green, which got added. Also, when we generated the script, the script will be part of Blend AI's answer and you can open it from there using the little icon or you can delete it if you don't need it anymore using the trash can. So with that out of the way, 
Let's create our very own feature for the script. Therefore use save script preset. And here you can give it a name like tedious icon task in our case and choose the space in which context menu you want to execute it. In our case, we want to execute it from the 3D views context menu. And you can also give it an icon just to make it a bit fancier, to customize it a bit, but you don't have to. And now press OK to save it. Let's try it on another icon. Let me import one really fast. And again, select both. And now right click to open the context menu. And here we go, our feature is there. And we can execute it like it was built into Blender. How awesome is that? Let me open up the context menu again, because there are some options when you right click your feature. You can edit it, open it or delete it. When you edit it, you can change the name or the space. For example, you can only display it in the object mode context menu or you can remove the icon or give a new one, basically anything. And with OK, you can save it. So if we now go into edit mode, you can see it's not there anymore in the context menu. But when you go back to object mode and open the context menu, you have still your feature. With delete, the script preset will be deleted permanently. And you can't undo this, so be cautious with that. And with open, the script of the feature will be opened in the script editor, where you can modify your feature. And we will actually need that in a moment, because our feature isn't perfect yet. Because we have some artifacts on our icon and we definitely don't want that. So what we're gonna do is cleaning this up using the Instant Clean add-on, because this does it in one single click using these settings here. And if you don't have it already, there's a link in the description. And as you can see, all artifacts are gone and we even saved some triangles. But of course you can also do this by hand and then remember the steps you've made to later tell it Blend AI. Because we want to automate this process now. So we need to know how to call this operation. And that's really simple. Go to the preferences under the interface menu and there enable the developer extras and Python tooltips. And if you now hover over the button, you can see in dark gray the identifier of this button and that is all we need. Okay, so let's do this. Right click our feature and choose open and gets automatically opened in the script editor. And now simply add what we've just seen at the end of our script. But one gotcha here is include invoke underscore default all in caps and in quotation marks first thing in the brackets which basically means that it works like you would click the button by hand. Otherwise some buttons might not work. And now, really important, go to text and then choose save to save these changes to our feature. And now you can leave the text editor and let's try if it works now. So let me import another icon that we can test the whole functionality. Again, selecting both and now choosing our feature and voila, it looks awesome. It worked perfectly, no artifacts, our icon is perfectly aligned and yeah, it's, it's all we wanted.
And before you can finally work on your own features, there's one more thing I want to show you. In the Blend AI panel, there is a dedicated script presets menu. And here are all your own features neatly organized and you can search through them by name or filter them by space. And you can execute them right from the menu using the little play button. And there's also another feature, the little display. If you disable it, it won't show up in the context menu. But the other settings are basically the same as when right-clicking the feature. Get Blend AI Pro now and start automating your Blender workflow. Click the link in the description. And to see more ways Blend AI can make your life easier, check out the playlist. And of course, subscribe so you don't miss out on future updates. Because there are already some crazy new features planned. Anyway, thanks for watching and have a wonderful day.